Welcome back everyone to another video. So today I thought we would revisit the original hyperspace way from Crash Nitro Kart. As you all know, pretty much every single Crash Nitro Kart track has been changed in some way. Not all of them, I think Meteor Gorge is pretty much the exact same, but the majority of them have had some sort of change to fit Nitro Fueled. And that's because nearly all of them have anti-gravity, so they had to completely remove those sections. But there's one track that gets talked about the most, and that's Hyperspace Way. By far the one that's been changed the most as well because in Nitro Kart it was like this final boss battle race. The first time that you played this track was when you raced against Emperor Velo. It was like this grand epic super long stadium in fucking space. You go through portals and shit. Let's just get into it before I continue talking because the whole video is going to be in the lobby. Look, look at look how different that was completely removed. That bit was completely removed. They pretty much removed like half of the track because of you know the anti-gravity sections. We're going to do a little comparison. We're going to go on Nitro Fuel after this and don't get me wrong. I still like the Nitro Fuel version, it's still really fun to play on, but because of what they had to remove, it's just no longer the same track. I mean, okay, so this bit here, we're in a massive space coliseum with all of Velo's minions cheering. If you've never played Nitro Kart, this is like the arena the adventure mode is set in, and so this part of the track is like based in the coliseum. You can see space, you got planets and shit, and Provilo's minions cheering. This bit, uh, this bit was completely cut out because the whole thing is anti-gravity. Although I feel like they could have maybe, I was going to say maybe they could have done this bit without anti-gravity, but now I'm just looking at the track up there. Yeah, that ain't happening. The shortcut, I'll give the Nitro Fuel version one thing. The shortcut is so much easier to pull off now. Thank God, because I hated doing this when I was facing Emperor Velo. And not only that, but the controls in this are just so clunky. Playing this game again after playing Nitro Fuel for months is not easy, okay? Now this bit wasn't completely removed. If they completely removed this bit, it would have been so short. They tried to supplement it, so instead of having like an anti-gravity section, they had like a tunnel instead. Better than nothing. And this bit itself is really fun, although it is kind of awkward to race on, because you can, it could be really slow depending on which way you go around it. I've seen it so many times, like people requesting that they make the actual version, this one. But it's like, can they even do that? Wouldn't they have just done it in the first place if they could? I'm not a game designer, I don't know what it takes or what, if it works or not, I'm not sure. The changes to the Crash Nitro Kart tracks don't bother me at all, really. Because they're not that different, and some of them are improvements, in my opinion. I think Tiny Temple is better. Tiny Temple isn't much different to what it was back then. It's just the anti-gravity section after the snake bit, and I think this electric snakes, or whatever they were, I can't remember. But you know those things that can electrocute you uh, on Tiny Temple? I think they were taken out, just like the uh, worms on out of time. I don't know why they were removed. I get the anti-gravity bit, but I don't know why they completely removed obstacles from certain tracks. Now let's go on Hyperspaceway on Nitro Fueled and we'll compare the two. Okay, let's check out uh, uh, how different this version of the track is. First thing that you notice, the stadium. It's completely fucking empty. <laughs> Velo's minions just didn't feel like coming today. Wait a second, what is that over there? Kind of looks like Zam. There's something over there. There's, there's what, at least there's one thing watching us. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, it's not exactly how it was in the original. You know, with all the minions cheering. Yeah! But the skybox though, yeah, no, the skybox, that gets a pass. That's looking very nice. You can still see the planets and stuff. But when you go through the portal, this is where it's just completely different. Oh my god. Yeah, that whole anti-gravity section just completely removed and we just go straight onto this bit. And again, it's just not that long of a track anymore, which is what added to the epicness of the original. You can finish this track in like two minutes now. I think the world record is probably faster than that. You can still see Emperor Velo's planet uh, from here, but the anti-gravity section is just replaced with this tunnel with, you know, the lasers. But yeah, they did pretty good at this bit though. You know, they had to replace it with something. And that's probably the only way they could have made it remotely close to what it used to be. Regardless of how much it's changed though, it's still a very fun track. I still vote for it when I see it in lobbies. Just doesn't have as much of an epic feel that it used to have, you know? But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, everyone. I just wanted to revisit Crash Nitro Kart. It's weird. It's so weird playing it after playing Nitro Fueled for like half a year. The controls in Nitro Fueled are perfect. Like, the weight, the amount of freedom you have when it comes to where your cart goes, you'll realize how perfect it is when you go back to Nitro Kart. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed Enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and let me know down below what you think of the new hyperspace way Do you like it more than the original or do you prefer the original over this one with that being said? Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next video